You, you can put the roof down without being inside and... What? Yeah. How? how? So you stick the key in the little key slot. Yeah? And then you just hold it and turn it in hold. What in the world? That is... Yeah. Makes I... it a lot easier to get in when you're in a cramped space. Yeah. Because you can just hop right in. Oh my gosh, Ferrari. I did not know you could do that. Holy cow. This is a fun treat. Joey has this 997.2 Turbo S with a Shark Works tune and exhaust. This car's 42,000 miles on it, 2012, and it's flawless. It's pristine. I personally don't usually love silver cars, but on this car, the spec, it's, I mean, this was a poster car when I was in high school too. Look at that with the yellow brake calipers peeking out. 997.2, the yellow Turbo S. And apparently it's really fast. I mean, a tuned Turbo S. Let's see what it's like. What's up, Joey? What's happening? This, this car is like flawless, dude. Yeah, Full gray bad. interior. Nice. So I've been in and driven 991 generation Turbo Turbo S, the 992 Turbo S, which is mind blowing. This is actually my first time in a 997 Turbo S. I've done 997 Carreras, but never the top tier Turbo S. So let's see what it's like. It's fast, right? It's fast, yeah. Very fast. It's very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Compare, how about like, compare like the RSQ8 and all the other stuff? Like, our, uh, I feel like it's a different kind of fast because okay. when you're driving it, like these older Porsches, they kind of like, you know, they build up and they just slap you like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh boy. Compared to like, you know, the RSQ8 and mm -hmm. RS6, those are just like, you're on it, mm -hmm. boom, like your new R8. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's Sock exhaust? Uh, no, Shark Works. Shark Works exhaust yeah. too, all right. That's one thing with Porsche turbos, the exhaust usually stock sounds like a big vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So you need an aftermarket to wake it up. Exactly. So PDK, so I actually thought you could get a Turbo S manual. Apparently you can't. No, yeah, Those... only the PDK. Okay, so you could still get a 997 Turbo yeah. with a manual transmission. Yeah. Um, this is like the last of the, the, the greats of this generation, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The new ones are definitely faster, the new interior, yeah. but they're bigger, heavier, so much more tack. It's a different feel to them. Yeah. This one, you still get the analog kind of feel to it. Okay. Right. This is, this is, you know what you're doing, you're making me second guess buying an R8 instead of a 991 Turbo S or I don't something. Know. <laughs> These things are just fast. Yeah. They are just fast and faster. Oh man, that's serious. Yeah. The first gear pull is even harder. Have you, have you done launch control? Uh, I have. Yeah. Is it it's, crazy? It's harder around here to do it. Yeah. It's, okay. it's crazy. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. it's a rock. It spins. Kudos to you guys for keeping this thing flawless. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> This is pristine. This looks like it came off the showroom right now. Yeah. We've got the sport chrono in the middle, the leather stitching everywhere, bow yeah. sound system. Not too bad. Oh. PDK, we were just talking. PDK from 2012 is still fabulous. Wow. This thing is serious. Get a couple of burbles and pops and stuff. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> PDK is a dual clutch, but it still gives you that kick in Sport Plus. I I have immense respect for this car. This is awesome. I know I know Sharkworks does amazing stuff. I've seen their like re-gearing kits for Cayman GT4s and stuff, and obviously they're very well known in the Porsche space. But this is awesome. Thanks, Joey. Yeah. This is of awesome. We've seen this car all weekend. We're like, we need to find time to go for a spin. Uh, pull it up. It looks flawless. I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful. So. Maybe that's why I need. I need a daily driver for my daily driver. The R8, I ended up choosing a rear-wheel drive, not Quattro yeah. one. So now I need a daily driver for the daily driver. This is practicality. These are great decisions right now. Yeah. Joey, we'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you Take later. Take care. Right. All right, this thing is a classic and just epic. See you, dude. Yeah. I really like that. My car, I love my R8. I mean, these are all amazing cars. The, like GT500, the R8. There are times when I stop and kind of think about it, and I remember being in high school and even middle school, like freaking out about a Corvette, a C6 Corvette. And now, like, we just spent a day with my R8, hanging out with friends with an Aventador and a Murcielago, and I just went for a ride in a 997 Turbo S. It's it's crazy. It is awesome. Hard work pays off sometimes. Um, absolutely. So. We'll see where the rest of today goes. 
Well, it's from one cool car to another. I feel like I'm losing touch of what a normal car is, but heading off to happy hour with the JR Garage guys, and we're going to one of my favorite restaurants again. We already went there once, Roca Core. It's amazing. And we're taking the 458 Spider because it needs some exercise, right, Kent? Yeah, the poor yeah. car hasn't been driven in probably lit because you have so many options to pick from here. So it's like, you know, well, we got to first move this white. Uh, um, and it's also, I mean, the turn signals don't work. And it's like, the, the, you know that uh, the difference between a porcupine and a uh, BMW? What's that? On a porcupine, the perks on the outside. Ha ha ha. No, the E46 is a great car. That inline six, all jokes. Yeah, buddy. This thing is pristine. I will give Matt kudos. He is picking some very, very clean, pristine, classic M cars to pick with. You got that. We have the E36 here, which I still am confused how it gets into the garage. I've been told it's just like a couple of turns and it's in there, but we got five cars in here with a beautiful E36. The E46, and then he just went off and bought an M2 again. I'm like, where'd it go, where'd it go? There it is, hello M2. We have to play car Tetris here. There's just too many cars. My R8 lives up front, which I, no complaints. Ken's GT500 is up there too. Oh man, this 458. Actually, I have known Kent for five or six years now. They've had this 458 the entire time. I don't know if I've ever been in it. We usually take out the GT3 or the R8, or I was like driving the R8, following the 458, or I was driving the Shelby following the 458. Yeah. This might be my first time going for a ride in their gorgeously specced 458. I just said 458 458 times. You, you can put the roof down without being inside and... What? Yeah. How? how? So you stick the key in the little key slot, yeah? and then you just hold it and turn it in hold. What in the world? That is... Yeah. Makes I... it a lot easier to get in when you're in a cramped space because yeah. you can just hop right in. Oh my gosh, Ferrari. I did not know you could do that. Yeah. That is amazing. Now we watched Kent finagle his way into a 458 Spider and cold start. mid-engine Ferrari V8. <laughs> the valves, good old Ferrari valves. The 488 is great and all, but something about the 458 is just more special. And actually something is, it's that engine, oh yeah. It just sounds so good and it's just so natural and linear. And the 9,000 RPM red line, that's hard to beat. The 48's definitely faster, but I also think this looks better. Pininfarina still had their hand in this, and I just love the 458. Look who's arriving. We have a vehicle that was really cutting edge and was played with some issues, but is still really awesome. The Fisker Karma. Look at that. Always an amazing design. The powertrain was unique. That's actually really cool. JR Garage guys have so many cars, I've utterly lost track of what they own and what they're going to show up driving, but... The Good Fisker Karma, that. Jeffrey. Hello. Nice to see you again. Hey. Christian. Good to see you, Eddie. This is sweet. The Fisker Karma. This thing was actually pretty cheap with the JR Garage guys. Obviously, uh, we have actually known each other for five, four or five years now at this point, but we are. I'm going to put the camera away because I want to just hang out, catch up, and not focus too much on filming. We're going inside for happy hour, and we'll pick this back up later. Power is a generator. That's yes. correct. It is a GM derived two liter. Yep, yep. That it acts as a generator and, and hybrid. it doesn't stay at like a constant hum. I would have thought it, it would just run at 3,000 or 2,000 RPM, whatever, and just charge the batteries. But uh, the fact that when you need more juice out of those batteries, if you don't have it stored in the batteries, maybe your batteries are all the way at zero, um, it will rev all the way up to whatever it needs to get the power so it'll to just the batteries. Sit there for that's just cool. If you're really yeah. low. It doesn't shift. That's, <laughs> that's weird. hilarious. It's like a CVT. Yeah, well, it just like, runs. Uh, it's degenerated. That's like the uh, the i3 range extended. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. It just it is just a generator for your 
batteries. Wow, this is the classic Ferrari V8 and sort of the future that didn't really work out for Fisker. Man, that's an insult. Put the roof up, Kentington. Yes. This car is just fabulous. It sounds good, it feels great, it looks great, the interior is awesome. Without a single doubt, 458 over 488. In my mind, the 48 is faster, it's quicker, it does a lot of things differently, but yeah. I agree with that only because the first time I drove a 488, the wheel fell off. Oh yeah, that is that can damper your expectations of the 48. Yeah. When you have a Fisker Karma, you almost always have to find yourself a charger. What's the acronym, Jeffrey? ABC. Always be charging. <laughs> so here at the always uh, gotta plug it in. Yeah. Ross Private Aviation Terminal. Yes. They have charger. Free. Perfect. Dollar worth of electricity. Yes. Nice. Bring your jet in, spend a lot in fuel, and get some free charging for your Fisker. Win-win situation. What did you just do? I was hearing this rattling noise on the way here and I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was outside the cabin. And Jeffrey insisted it was inside the cabin. Down like in the, the pit of Secret. no return? Yeah. I found a screwdriver and this so you is got a free not screwdriver. ours. This probably came with the car, so. Buy a Fisker, get a free screwdriver. Look at this interior. Four seats, the wood. Vegan, eco-friendly. You, you, it is, this is, joy, rejoice vegans, this is the car you should buy. Recycled. Yes. Everything Recycled everything. <laughs> this is interesting. It's pretty cool. This door doesn't open. Wait, wait, say that again, Christian? In famous Fisker fashion of yeah. unreliability, this passenger door the acts up. There we go. So <laughs> After, I tried it like 10 times off camera. And oh, oh, and it worked go. now. Really cool designs in here. All right, I'm gonna get in the back seat of a Fisker. In a Fisker. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> six foot three in the back of a Fisker, and Jeffrey is even taller. Jeffrey, how tall are you? Like six. six. Oh, putting the camera on somebody's face. Okay. I apologize for that. <laughs> all right, we got five people in a Fisker. All right, that seat is all okay. the way up. Oh, all right. You guys doing all right there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say the same thing that everybody said to me when I had my i8. Is it on? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Not horrible yeah, for five yeah. people and 5,500 pounds. Yeah. Full tank of gas too. One person over capacity, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the JR Garage hangar. We've got a top secret car I can't show yet because I have no idea when this video is going up, but the Gallardo, the insanely loud 430. This is also an amazing view. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, I've been here, yeah. Yeah. This is an upgrade from the previous one for sure. You have more space and... We still have the other one. You still have the old one? Yeah, oh, that's so even better. Garage, hangar, yeah. garage at home, you know, somewhere you gotta have enough yeah, space to put all the Yeah, absolutely. Cars. This so, is yeah, cool. Amazing views, watching the, you know, jets, fighter jets whiz overhead. Yeah, great, that's great awesome. Vibes. This is an awesome combination. The Fisker, the 458, and a plane. I don't know what kind of plane it is. I know it's a plane and it's very it's cool. It's a Mustang. So just casually cruising through here and that black Enzo we saw earlier is just street parked here. Wow. That, yeah, this is un, unreal. That, oh no, oh it's got the red seat covers. That looks menacing. Wrapping up this trip to Arizona. I am flying back to Chicago this afternoon. The car is being shipped back, so the next time we see it, it will be back in Illinois. Hopefully the weather is gonna get just as nice out there as it is here. I am very much looking forward to summer. This is a great weekend. Thanks again to my friend Kent for the hospitality and Alex. I mean, that, that event store exhaust is absolutely insane. Same with catching up with Jeffrey, the guys from JR Garage and such. It's been a ton of fun. I absolutely will be back in Arizona again as soon as I can because I really, really like it out here in Scottsdale. With that, we'll end this video. Thanks for the support, guys.